Okay, you can't start it. Look, it's, the Nets have started in drop coverage here. This player started to fight over the top of the screen. This big dropped. Well, you can't just go, well, never mind, let's switch. Because this Nets big isn't ready to switch. Get organized in transition. Spencer Dinwiddie should be saying, I've got this magic player here. Or this player should. It doesn't matter. Someone's got to communicate that because the other's got to go here. And as you see, that communication just is not taking place. What is Nick Claxton doing here? You're not doubling the post. You're not doing that. So get up and guard your man. Like, what are you... You're just standing in the middle of nowhere. What? So the shot goes up. Let's see for the Nets who is just staring at the shot. Well, this player is, this player is, this player is. This player is. It looks like he's getting back. He should be sprinting back. But at least these three Nets players should be sprinting back. And none do. So everybody just stared at the shot. First of all, if you're Dorian Finney-Smith, as soon as Markel Fultz turns to post you up, you got to get up on him. Okay? So he just turned to post you up right now. So right now, you should be up and battling for real estate, okay? You should be initiating contact along with Fultz. That's how you battle for post position. See, Dorian Finney-Smith isn't doing this. Look at this. He's just letting Markel Fultz back him down and back him down and back him down. Like, you really haven't ever done anything to defend Markel Fultz's post up. Okay, so Cam Thomas is fronting the post against Mo Wagner. Now, Joe Harris is coming over in backside help because he has to. You can't let that pass get made over the top. But if this skip pass gets made, you have to X out. That means this player has to go here and Joe Harris has to come up here. And that is not what happens. Horrible switch. If you are switching onto the screener, you must get underneath the screener. See, look at this Nets player switching over the top, so now that requires backside help for no reason, and Cole Anthony's open for three. I mean, just look at how long this Nets player is staring at the ball and not seeing his man. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look at this. You're still staring at the ball. You're still staring at the balls. You're still staring at the ball. Of course you get beat back door. Okay, so we have a turnover here. If you're this Nets player, okay, stop. You're not getting this ball, so sprint back, okay? It is so important that you sprint back. Very important. Like, look at that. You're going towards the ball. Boy, was that bad. Add switch. If you are switching the screen, this player should be in a defensive stance with his feet set, ready to guard. Look at this Nets player. His feet aren't set. He's not ready to guard. So look, now you're going to get, this is just not going to work. Now you've got... Well, pretty much all five Nets players paying attention to the ball. So, of course. Horrible switch. You have got to get underneath the screener when you switch. Look at Michael Bridges. You're switching over the top. So now you're sealed. Hey, when you're Dorian Finney-Smith and you're defending away from the ball, you need to be in a defensive stance with your feet set. Dorian Finney-Smith's feet aren't set. In fact, his feet are going inward away from where this ball is going. So now you have no chance of guarding Paulo Banchero. Again, you got to sprint back. Like this Nets player's effort is just not good enough. Look at this. If you had sprinted back, you'd be here. Your feet would be set. You'd be in a defensive stance. Instead, look, your feet are taking you way inward. So now this is an open three. Again, this backpedaling, sprint, defensive stance, feet set. Look at this. Not even close. You're not ready to guard. Terrible switch. What is? If you're switching this screen, then you need to be up now, level to the screener, ready to guard. This player goes underneath the screener. Uh, does, does it look like you're ready to guard the ball now on a switch? No. Again, it's a lazy, awful switch. You have to be up. You have to be ready to guard when this player comes off this ball screen. Like this, you're just not even close to being able to do that. So now you're off balance and Cole Anthony is going to destroy you. I mean, again, Cole Anthony has the ball all the way out here. Why can't this Nets player get in a defensive stance? Why? Look at this. This player is never in a defensive stance. His feet are never set. This is awful. Not lean towards this screen. Look at Patty Mills. You're leaning towards the screen early. That means you get beat the other way. It's a not good. 
Look at all the Nets players just staring at the shot. The shot is in the air. This player should be sprinting back. This player should be sprinting back. Uh, this player right here should be sprinting back. Like, everybody is just staring. Nobody is sprinting back. Look at Cam Thomas is, I guess, trying to get a whistle. See, if you're Spencer Dinwiddie right here, if you get in a defensive stance with your feet set, you'll be able to get over this screen. Stop. So you're not in a defensive stance yet. So if you saw this screen coming right now, you could just get up a little bit and make sure you're over the screen. But look at Dinwiddie. Feet are not set. So look at this. He's now going to have to try and get over this screen while Franz Wagner is already coming this way. So does it look like you can guard like this? That's... <laughs> 